Previously, with the 240SX, I don't think the cluster is gonna work anymore. Flashback. Yo, what's good, you guys? I'm at work right now. And I was messing around in the 240, so I figured I might as well record and go ahead and show you guys what's going on. End of flashback. on a new steering wheel hub and quick release the actual name brand stuff so I want to get the, the car looking nice driving nice and then we can start working our way towards the drift car after that because what I don't want is for it to be like beat up I don't want to beat on it and then it's just like things get worse for the car you know so basically like the Civic I want it to be reliable I could daily drive it if I want to and then we'll work to drift car from there. That's just where my thoughts have been going these past few days. So, this is the assembly that we got a long time ago. Um, I got this for the Camry originally. So it was the energy wheel that I have here and just some off-brand quick release and hub. I need to be able to pop off the steering wheel when I do decide to fix up the dash and all that all these buttons and stuff just i have to be able to fix everything so that's why i got a quick release my main goal isn't to try to get a lot of new things for the car primarily it's just to fix it up i guess but i mean this car isn't that bad it runs drives it's just the the gauge cluster that i really want to focus on right now just because it's really like finding oem parts for this car it's kind of expensive just because it's an older car things are a little bit pricey so i know I know some people source OEM parts, but go we'll just, it's a process. It's a process. I just figured might as well just get the whole NRG set. Just so it's all NRG. And I could put this back on the Camry. So then the Camry just needs a wheel. And wheels are pretty cheap ish, kind of. Eh. I'll figure that out. So. NRG this is the this is the hub this is the quick release so let's go ahead pop these two open nice nice and man this thing is cool as in like it's not hot nice nice Ford Explore. This thing is heavy compared to the other one. Alrighty. And it also comes with some interesting things I'm going to have to figure out in a little bit. Apparently from what they say, the energy logo goes up. So i put it like this. I want to go on. I just want to explain what's going on right here but one it has been a really 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 hot week and i'm almost done editing all my videos catching up with everything it's really really hot so if you hear any background noise or anything like that it's because i have my window open usually when i record like in my room i have everything closed just so the audio is the best but not too many videos are actually uploaded on installing an energy hub the energy short hub for 240sx just with this car i've only seen one other video on installing a short hub and i don't know if he was able to easily install it or what so let me just explain really quickly what's going on i'm trying to put the wheel hub onto the steering shaft but the only thing is the splines aren't exactly lining up this hub isn't meant 
to be used with the 240s that have HICAS or H-I-C-A-S, that's the abbreviation for it. But to my knowledge, this vehicle does not have HICAS. So I'm led to believe that this hub should work with the car and I've made sure it's the correct model number, the SRK140H, that's the 240 one. So the splines are supposed to line up. So maybe what I'm thinking is now after the video is recorded and all that, looking back at all the footage, maybe the steering shaft was replaced before just seeing like the wheel that i do have um i was looking up some oem s13 steering wheels and they look pretty similar to the one that i have i mean mine doesn't have buttons or anything like that so i'm not sure if it came off of another um 240 but the wheels that i'm seeing they look pretty similar to the one that i have so i'm not sure what's going on with that um, you'll see in the next video how I actually got everything on. I actually didn't end up doing it myself. I had to take the car to the shop, but you'll see all that stuff in the next video. But just to explain what happened briefly right here, I was putting on the hub right here and I was getting a little bit frustrated because the hub that I bought was not working. So I thought I could get it to work. Um, I was looking through some older forums and from what I saw there, some people actually had to put in a little bit of effort to actually get the hub on. So that's what I was doing, but it still wasn't sliding on so i don't know the other video that i did see with this install i don't know how we did it um maybe like i said maybe my steering shaft is from another vehicle um who knows i don't know the vehicle history that well so that may be a thing that's what i'm thinking so that's just what it is with that car so what i ended up doing i just put back the, the camry hub the only reason i had to take the car to the shop one i broke the steering shaft so you'll see like i said uh it was broken and i just need the car to be drivable at least because uh, it does sit on the street. I don't have it just sitting in the driveway. Three hours later. All right, guys. It's 9.13 p.m. I still don't have the steering wheel on the 240. I'm just going to resort to uh, using that, the other hub because at least that one fits a little bit better. And the NRG one, I don't know how to do with it. Maybe I'll figure out how to put it on later. Anyway, the reason why you're looking at Chris at the ATM right now is because last minute he decided he wants to get wheels for the ramp. So me being the the person that I am, he can't wait to get parts. I said let's go and he was like alright. So yeah. Alright you guys. So if you guys ever want to know how much can you fit in your Honda? I got four, four 22s back here. And these are like 22 by like, I don't know, like 10. Four of them back here. So I got, I know you guys probably can't see. I have one right here. I got two, I got two stacked and I got one in the trunk. Let me see. So this is what we got going on right now. Look at these. Two, these are just two. Two 22s. I got one on the other side stabbing into the door and I got one in the trunk. That's that's the back to, that's the back seats already. Back seats gone, trunk gone, and there's three of us. It's me, Chris, and Deluce. All of us. So Chris is gonna drive, and we're pretty much gonna share this seat. And hopefully we don't get pulled over by like CHP or anything like that. It's an hour drive back. This car made it an hour and 30 minutes on like it only used like a quarter quarter tank of gas, which is a W. So we're just. Uh, just gonna have to be packed like sardines for an hour, but we chillin'. It's dark right here. All four of these fit inside that car, bro. Crazy.